What are some of the main concerns that general public has associated with developing shale gas? I would say that the public opposition to shale development uh, typically uh, goes in two directions. One, I'll, I'll call a more practical level. So it's at a local or community-based where people are looking at what's occurring to their landscape or what's occurring possibly to the infrastructure, for instance. And I mention infrastructure because one of the points of contention with a lot of the shale development as it occurred, especially on the early side, was road impacts. So a lot more traffic, a lot more degradation of uh, the roads that were there, and people were uh, finding that, that was very problematic and they were resisting uh, in, in that uh, respect. And then there's others, so the use of water or concerns about air emissions and a variety of other things. Many of those issues have been uh, resolved through remediation, uh, again through uh, policy decisions that were made and, and even some best ma management practices that were deployed by uh, industry and or uh, promoted uh, through a regulatory regime. The other uh, direction that I would mention would be maybe uh, more philosophical, so looking at energy development through a more, um, a, again, a more philosophical lens uh, and looking at it beyond just shale uh, development, but looking at, at other types of energy as well. Meaning that there was a, there was a consideration that uh, climate then becomes a metric. So we're more interested in seeing this type of, of energy development versus that type of energy development. So that then becomes a consideration when you think about uh, public response or public opposition. So really, I see it in two different camps.